Now we're talking about decimal forms of rational numbers, which just means that we can take a rational number and convert it to a decimal. A rational number is a ratio, a number that can be written as a ratio of two integers, like this, 5 eighths, one integer over another, a fraction basically. And we can convert that to a decimal just by remembering that the fraction bar means division. So 5 eighths is 5 divided by 8 and we can do the division. And so here it is, 5 divided by 8, written in the notation that we normally use to work out the division. And I'm going to put some zeros out here because we'll need them. And let's do this. 8 doesn't go into 5, so we put a 0 there, and then we put our decimal point right above that one. And 8 goes into 50 six times. So I put a 6 there, and then I multiply. 6 times 8 is 48 and I subtract and I get a 2 and then I bring down this 0 and I ask myself how many times does 8 go into 20 and 8 goes into 20 two times so I put a 2 up here and then I multiply 2 times 8 is 16 and I subtract and I get a 4 and then I bring down this 0 so it's a 40 and how many times does 8 go into 40 and it goes in five times and we're done there because it goes in five times exactly if you want to you can write out the last step the five times eight is 40 and you subtract and you get a zero so there's no remainder if you end up with no remainder the decimals have stopped that's what we call a terminating decimal and that's our exact answer 0.625 sometimes something different happens though look at this five sixths that's a rational number five over six but when I work out the division I get something a little bit different that happens let's work this out five divided by six and we'll put some zeros out here and let's do it six does not go into five so we put a zero here and then our decimal point six will go into fifty though it will go in eight times and 8 times 6 is 48 and I subtract and I get a 2 and then I bring down this 0 so I have 20 and 6 goes into 20 3 times so I put a 3 up there and then I multiply 3 times 6 is 18 and I write that down here and I subtract I get a 2 and then I bring down the next 0 I get 20 6 goes into 20 three times, so I put a 3 there. 6 times 3 is 18. I subtract and I get a 2. And then I bring down this next 0. And 6 goes into 20 three times, so 6 times 3 is 18. I subtract, I get a 2 again. And now I'm out of zeros, but remember this 5.0000 is the same as 5.0000000 and so on. I can have as many zeros as I want on there. It's still exactly 5. And so this pattern that I have here is going to go on forever. You can see I'm getting a 20 every single time and then an 18 and I subtract and I get a 2 every single time. And these 3s up top here are going to repeat forever also. They'll go on and on and I can put three dots right there indicating that they repeat indefinitely. This is what we call a repeating decimal. So we see these two possibilities here. We see a terminating decimal and we see a repeating decimal. And whenever you have a rational number, one number divided by another or one integer divided by another, the result will always be either a terminating decimal, one where there's a zero remainder and the digits terminate, or it will be a repeating decimal, where a digit or a group of digits repeats endlessly. One of those two things will always happen. Now let me say a word about the notation. Those threes repeating, we don't have to write out this many threes. We do need to write out enough threes so that the pattern is apparent. Uh, if I wanted to write the answer, I could say 5 sixths is equal to 0.8333 three, 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 and then put the three dots indicating that that pattern repeats. Or I could do it like this. 5, si five over 6 is equal to 0.83 and I put a bar over the 3. 
and the bar over the 3 indicates that that 3 repeats. Note that there's no bar over the 8, and the, the 8 does not repeat. You put a bar over the digit or the group of digits that repeats endlessly. And sometimes you do have more than one digit repeating. For example, look at this, 9 over 11, 9 elevenths. Let's do the division here, 9 divided by 11, and we'll see that more than one digit repeats in this case. Okay, 11 does not go into 9, so we'll put a 0 there and a decimal. And we think about the 90. 11 goes into 90 eight times. 8 times 11 is 88. I subtract, I get a 2, and then I bring down that 0 there. And 11 goes into 20 only one time. So I put a 1 here. 1 times 11 is 11. I subtract and I get a 9. And then I bring down the 0 here. So 90. 11 goes into 90 eight times. So I put an 8 there. 8 times 11 is 88. Just like I had up here. I subtract and I get a 2 and I bring down a 0 and I get a 20 just like I had there. And 11 goes into 20 one time. And when I do 1 times 11, that's 11, just like I had there. And if I subtract, I get a 9, just like I had down there. And I bring down another 0. And I can you can see that this pattern is going to go over and over again. I'm going to have uh, 20, then 11, and then 90, and then 88. And the same thing will repeat over and over again. And these digits up here will repeat over and over again. I'll have 0 0.8181, and so on. So I could write my answer like this. I could say 9 elevenths is equal to 0 0.8181 dot dot dot, indicating that the pattern that I've established there repeats forever. Or I could write it using the bar notation. 9 elevenths is equal to 0 0.81 repeating. And I put a bar over the 8 and the 1, indicating that both of those digits repeat. Sometimes you have a lot of digits repeating. Look at this, 12 divided by 7. Let's do this one on a calculator. Pull the calculator up here and I'll type in 12 divided by 7 and hit enter. And I get 1.71428 Now the calculator here is only displaying a limited number of digits. There's a pattern there. The 714285 repeats over and over again. So this is really equal to 1.714285, and it goes on and on. And you don't have to write out that many digits, but if I do this, if I write 1.714285, I can't really put three dots right after that because it's not clear what's repeating. Does this three dots mean that the five repeats or does it mean something else? So I really need to write this whole group at least one more time, 714285, and then I can put the three dots. So that's a little bit better than writing all of that out, but the bar notation is really the best move here. 1.714285, and then I put the bar over all of those digits, indicating that all of those repeat as a group. 1.714285, 714285, and so on. So those are some examples of some repeating decimals. But the main thing to remember from, um, from this is that whenever you have a rational number, one integer divided by another, a over b, and a and b could be any integers, when you actually do the division, you will always get a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal, one or the other.